Hello everyone, Equipment War here, and welcome to my build guide for my Scouring Ray Marauder. He's a really powerful character, really tanky, doing good damage, and overall really fun to play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over my passive skill tree and the gear and gems I'm using. So, let's get started. So, let's take a look at my passive skill tree. I'm starting as a Marauder. I took uh, life and armor in the beginning, and went for all of the life here, I went for Heart of the Warrior, Warrior's Blood, Armor Mastery, I have a Yule Socket here, we're increasing my spell damage and my fire damage. I have Jaggernaut. I have Unringing Stance, so I not get stunned when I'm casting my spells. And I also have Bloodless. Went up here to take Barbarism. I took Arsenal to increase my fire damage and life regeneration. I have Ancestral Knowledge because I needed more intelligence. I have another Yule Socket here, again increasing my fire damage and my spell damage. I went with this whole big life wheel here. I went for Shaper and I have Elemental Equilibrium. And I'm going to talk a little bit about more how this works when I talk about my games. I went for Sentry, went for the Mana and Life Generation here. I went for Discipline Training, Retribution. I'm going to take Elementalist when I level up next time. I have Light of Divinity. I went for Purity of Flesh. I went all the way up here to take Holy Fire. I went for taking Mental Rapidity, and I have Elemental Overload. I have Cruel Persorption, I have Firewalker, and I have Occultist Dominion. And my Ascendancy class, I ascended to a Chieftain, and I first I went for this one, then I went for this one, this one, and this one. It doesn't really matter what uh, how you're taking them, but uh, I can't say the name of them because I can't pronounce them, so I'm sorry for that. And I'm going to have a link in the description to where you can find my past skill tree. And if you have any questions about the tree, feel free to ask me in the comments. So, let's take a look at my weapons and armor. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I can start with my weapon. I do be wielding two ones. The first one are have high cast speed and high spell damage. And that's pretty much what you want on your ones. If you can get fire damage on them as well, that's even better. But try to get high cast speed, high fire damage, high spell damage on all of your weapons. And the rest of the gear are pretty much only defensive. My helmet gives me a uh, good amount of life, resistance, even gives me some rarity and good amount of armor. My rings, same thing, as high life as you possibly can get. Same with the other ring. And if you can afford it, try to get some cost with them as well and the resistance you might need. For armor, again, I just have a rare armor with uh, life and resistance on and as high armor as I possibly can get. Same thing with the gloves, again, as good life as you can get and resistance you might need. Same thing with the belt, resistance, life, and if you can, try to get some armor as well. And boots, try to get as high movement speed, armor and life as you possibly can get. This pair of boots is not the best, but it, it is what I happen to have right now. And for flask, I'm using eternal flask, I'm using one bubbling. I'm using two ampli amplify flasks. And then I just have some uh, movement speed flows because I like to run in fa to run fast. And that's pretty much my gear. So uh, let's go and take a look at my skill gems. For Scorching Ray, I'm using Elemental Focus, Increased Burning Damage, Iron Will, Control Destruction, and Faster Casting. For the auras I'm using, I'm using a flammability linked with Blasphemy. And the other auras you can use, you can use Arctic Armor, Purity of Elements. Determination and Haste, but you must have Flammability and Blasphemy. All of the other auras are optional. I'm also using Lightning Warp, linked to Lesturation and Faster Casting. To proc Elemental Equilibrium and Elemental Overload, I'm using Orb of Storms, Increased AoE and Increased Critical Strike. I also have a cost on damage taken with Increased Critical Strikes, Arctic Breath and Arc, which will make it easier to proc Elemental Equilibrium and Elemental Overload. And finally, the bandits I helped and killed. In normal, I helped Oak to get life. In uh, cruel, I helped Alira to get the cost speed. And in merciless, I just killed all of them and took the passive skill point. I thank you all for watching this build guide. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm going to have a link in the description to where you can find my passive skill tree. And overall, thank you all for watching and see you guys next time.